The 2021 Major League Baseball season is underway as opening day kicked off Thursday afternoon. Unfortunately, it wasn't a full slate of goodness with the Orioles-Red Sox game being rained out and the primetime Mets-Nationals tilt getting cancelled due to the COVID-19 issues among Washington players. The latter issue left us without a game that started between 4.10 and 10.05 p.m. E.T. Poor scheduling, right? Here's a look at the day's scores. All times US, Eastern, the biggest takeaway of all is that this was just one 162nd of the season for the teams that did play. That is 0, 62%. Don't freak out and overreact. At least not too much. Let's run down the day of baseball action that actually did happen. This is a testament to how talented the Dodgers are. Clayton Kershaw didn't have good stuff, they committed two errors, they threw three wild pitches, committed a base running gaffe that turned a two-run home run into an RBI single and an out, they went three for 16 with runners in scoring position and they left 14 men on base. And yet, they still had the tying run at the plate in the top of the ninth and could very well have won the game against the Rockies. Credit the Rockies for the win, but beware to the rest of baseball because the Dodgers just played one of their worst possible games and still had a good shot to win. 2020 Al Cy Young winner Shane Bieber joined Elite Company by striking out 12 batters, but he got no run support with the Tigers holding a 3 0 lead headed to the ninth. A two run Roberto Perez shot made things interesting, but Tigers reliever, closer? Gregory Soto induced Cesar Hernandez to pop out, with a runner on and Jose Ramirez standing on deck to end the game. The 2021 Arizona Diamondbacks are now the answer to a trivia question. They became the first team in baseball history with a four-homer inning. Still, the Padres wouldn't be denied. They came from behind with a run in the sixth and then one in the seventh to take the lead for good and win, 8-7. They had 10 hits even though Fernando Tatis Jr. and Manny Machado combined to go 1-10. They won despite Yu Darvish giving up four runs on eight hits in four and two-thirds innings. A trendy playoff pick, the Blue Jays went into the Bronx and beat the Yankees with Jarrett Cole on the hill. Teoscar Hernandez, a breakout offensive star in 2020, went three for four with a home run and Vladimir Guerrero looked pretty damn good with a line drive single and two walks. The Jays didn't have George Springer yet, either. Yun Jin Ryu went five and a third innings, allowing only two runs, both on a Gary Sanchez homer, but the real story on the pitching side was the Blue Jays bullpen going four and two-thirds scoreless innings while allowing just two hits. The Yankees had a few late threats, but Aaron Judge twice struck out, leaving five men on, to end those rallies. The Twins scored two runs in the top of the third inning and held the lead all the way until there were two outs in the bottom of the ninth.